What is up guys, this is Ghostliner, and today we're going to be doing a collab with my friend Hassan. He's a great AD carry main. He's probably the best AD carry I actually know uh, in League of Legends, uh, like per, per in a personal level. Uh, he's actually like real, a really good player, and he has a YouTube channel of his own. He provides content just like mine, and if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a sub uh, to him below. The link is in the description. If you guys want to collab with me, uh, there's also instructions in the description or in the comment section as well uh, of how to make a collab with me. Uh, it's very simple, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Enjoy. Hello, guys. It is Hassan here, a.k.a. Hassan's butt, butt, and other weird names that I've been called in the past. Here, I am presenting you with a Vayne commentary, since I have been playing a lot of Vayne. Really, really fun champion. Really strong. Not the strongest right now. Uh, yeah, and it's a really strong starter. You always want to start off with Q. Now we'll start off with W as Vayne. It's not really efficient, not really worth it. So Q would be the best start. Uh, I usually line them up. I see you do so, so if you want to know your lead. Vayne, alright, let's go over matchups. Vayne, uh, Voli versus Shivana, that's kind of a s even lane. Yi versus Lee Sin, our Yi will be scaling later on. Ari versus Orianna, it's, that's kind of a farm lane, far side play safe. Cog versus Vayne, that is in Cog's favor once he gets Rage Blade. But once I get two items, I should be able to fight him. And Leona versus Bard, I don't even know. Because it is a Bard. Bard is a very interesting champion. Alright, you so I usually always push in level 1. Because people are usually bad at CSing on a turret. I want to stay back just in case she took her, her her little dash thingy first. Cog is coming to range, so every time he comes into range, auto him. You're getting free damage off for lane pressure. I. I'm not going to get that, and now I'm going to get it since I know he can't hit me. Pretty much auto attacks also have a cooldown. So if he, if I get him when he auto attacks, he won't be able to trade with me. Usually you always want to trade when the enemy is going for an auto attack on minions or anything else. I'm actually going to make my HUD skill smaller. It's kind of too big right now. I have to be aware of their level 2 all-in. Okay, we got it at the same time pretty much. Now since I have my... Level 2, I can push in. Oh, I missed 2 CS so far. Oh, he took his Q level 2, which is interesting. Alright, hold on. I think my HUD skill smaller. There we go. That's much better. I want to stay away from Leona because she does decide to go ham on me. I am pretty much screwed. Yep, and the way she's playing, she looks, she wants to go aggressive. Air she, when she attacks the cannon, I'm going to uh, auto her. If I know it's safe to do so. Safe. And I got my cannon, so it's pretty worth it. I'm not out CSing him. He has one more CS than me. If you can look at the minions in laning phase, it's fine. Uh, Yi got first blood, which is extremely good. Because once a Yi is fed, it's pretty much game over. Assuming he's going to go Rage Blade. Uh, Bard is playing extremely safe, and Leon's playing more aggressive. They got level 3. It's always better to be down in CS than to die in lane. I'm, I'm, the reason I'm far down in CS is because I'm risking my CS uh, for the Leona to all in. Right now she looks like she wants to all in so I'm going to go even further back. I'm not going to tumble yet. I'm going to wait. I usually want to wait till on tumble until they try to make a play or anything or you want to CS like that. But you want to actually hit it. Vayne is extremely good. Uh, I'll go over a full build later on. Her laning phase is extremely strong once she gets her first item. Which is usually static shiv, no longer rapid fire cannon. You wanna BM them. The uh Leon alright, right now we should fight them because we have our minions and they don't have any minions. So which means the farm minions focus them, then uh they'll do more uh, we'll do more damage overall as a group. I'm just I'm just gonna stay on the opposite side of Leona because I don't wanna mess with her. She can all in me and I'll die. Ah, uh, okay, I missed a cannon. I did not miss a cannon. Cog is CSing pretty well. I'm going to risk that CS. Because if I think about it, it's not really worth the 1 CS. To, uh, my life is not really worth the 1 CS. They're playing extremely safe. I'm not sure why. Because Kog'Maw is level th 4, which means, or I'm assuming he has a W. Which means he kind of has a spike. I'm just gonna keep on CSing. Yi's around top side. I don't know where Lee Sin is, but we are pushed in, so it's no big deal. 
Now he has a pretty large enough of a lead. Ah, I'm making it even bigger. I'm gonna stay away from the Leona. I do not want to fight her. She's she's like she's so. Ah, I don't need any of those words. I have my healing, but I'm good right now, so I don't need it. Hit him with that taunt. I'm gonna go ward it since I saw her backing up. You always want to ward the bush that the support is in, cause. Because you always need vision of support. They can be in the corner of a bush. They could be recalled and you wouldn't know unless you have vision. So getting vision on it would always be useful. So always ward right here if the enemy support is in there. Don't ever save your ward. Saving ward is pretty useless because they're there for you to ward. And if you don't ward, you're pretty much wasting them. I'm going to wait. Oh, Thunderlord proc. Uh, a lot of people are asking about masteries. Uh, I mean, keystone. Right now, the best keystone on any ADC would be fervor, because of the uh, the damage it provides. So fervor right now on all ADCs. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, he died. He got a kill and he died. So even that. Oh, nice. So since Lee is dead. And so we have nothing to worry about, so which means you can play uh, semi-aggressive. I don't want her to go in, but she does go in. I'm actually just going to condemn her. I'm actually going to flash, yeah. Uh, he they healed. Worth. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was pretty yummy. If I hadn't flashed that I would have died. So it's, it's worth the flash. Oh, come get it, come get it, Leona. She's really tempted to get the the little package thingy. The the bard healing. Right now we're even in CS, because I'm assuming he missed a lot. And I am also commentating while playing, so it's kind of harder to focus. He is pushing in extremely hard. I'm not sure why. Because if our, if our U was someone other than a U, would have got a lot of ganks off. It's not a big deal though. Cause uh, it's better if we play safe because he's gonna our team is pretty much all scaling and once we scale they can't really fight us. We have a Shivana, we have a R, we have a Vayne and a Yi. That damage right there. Even our tank does buttload of damage. No when you bad see us in return. I hear him recalling. Oh, or not. Ah, overstayed. Uh, so, a static shift first to go right here. It's get that. Two potions. Not a pink word yet. I thought they recalled because I kind of heard them recall. Because you can hear them when they're recalling around you. So, that's what I thought. I'm, you, I, I usually always get two. Uh, Two potions and a pink ward for lane because it is extremely useful. Not sure about that, you guys are probably lagging. I probably am down in CS by not that much. 11. That's pretty decent. Ah, I'm gonna miss the cannon. Ah, I'm gonna miss that one also. I'm probably gonna get. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get one in back way or two. Alright, I'm actually just going to let it push. I see most people usually pushing in this situation. What you just want to do, since I am behind the Kog'Maw in CS-wise and uh, Gold-wise, I usually just want to freeze it right here and, and hit it at the very last second. Before the enemy, uh, before my minion's uh, auto goes to kill it, you want to hit it. That's the best way of freezing the lane. Because I don't really want to push right now. Because they uh, out-damage us by a lot. But the the consequence of this is is our wave is gonna stack. So whenever you do it, you have to think twice about your wave stacking. But all I see the Kogma doing is he all he does is constantly push. So there's no big deal on it. So I already know he's gonna constantly push. Like they're here already. My bard is roaming, so I have to play extra, 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 extra safe. Uh, he almost got rage blade. 
I'm not, I'm not gonna risk my life for that CS. I see the bard coming back to lane now. I can't play him. More aggressive. Gonna ward that. So risky. I'm honestly so scared because the Leon can easily all in me and Moon. Our bard is level six, so that kind of makes life easier. You just want to play passive in lane, keep CSing. I'm not gonna risk my life for any reason since Kogma is stronger and Leona is stronger than the bard. So every time I try to, every time I tumble, I see the Leona going aggressive. So all I'm gonna do is play on this side, play on the opposite side of her. And as you can see, Kog is pushing, like I said, because that's all he's been doing. You just want to notice the opponent's playstyle. And all I see he's been doing is freezing it. Or no, actually not freezing it. Literally the opposite of freezing. I'm not going to crit that. Yeah, I didn't crit. 89 to 94 CS. I see the Orianna down here, so I don't want to play too aggressive. I'm actually going to risk the wave. Hit him with that taunt. Ah, and she does come back. She's wasting a lot of time while he's getting CS mid. I'm so afraid of the Leona ult. Oh my god. I'm also extremely tired of a very long day at school. Just keep on playing safe. It's, who cares if I'm 0 and 1? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be able to kill anyone on their team. Uh, oh no, I'm going to miss so much. Oh, that was so bad. I'm, I'm just down 6 despite our... Uh, our not so aggressive lane. If they wanted, they could have zoned us out much more. Ah, uh, why am I critting when I don't want it? Critting is like a surprise child. Like sometimes you don't want it, but you appreciate it. And there are times that you you want it, but it doesn't happen. Like in team fights, when you want a crit, it doesn't happen. But then in, when you're CSing, like it comes out of nowhere and smacks you. It's taunt. This is just a farm lane. I'm always too aggressive, which means I have to play safe. Ah, uh, Leonardo, don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. Oh, the Yi is headed down here, which they are recalling. I'm actually just going to freeze it right here. Every time you want to freeze, you want to hold the wave and let your minions come. You don't want to let your tower kill that, because now the enemy wave should freeze about right here, where, the, where their current wave is. Taunt him. There we go. And that should happen for about for a few waves. Actually, no, he's pushing constantly, so which means I have to do the same. She's coming to range, so I'm just going to get my co triple combo off on her. Hit, hit it before... Uh, they are recalling. I'm not going to play safe. I'm not going to play aggressive. Yeah, she was just baiting it. Because like they did last time. I heard them recall, but they were just baiting and they baited it perfectly. It's 108 CS to 118, no big deal. I'm a Vayne, so I'm doing pretty decent as C CS with Vayne. Do the same thing again, freeze it right here, and force them to recall this time completely. They're probably out of here, so every time you want to push, you want to clear the back way first. As, as Vayne, it's incredibly easy. Because you get an easy push. Okay, whatever. We're going on a trip in our favorite. In our favorite what? Ah, uh, should I get greedy? Should I get greedy? Should I get greedy? No, it's not get greedy. All right, just take this. I'm just gonna get that and boots. Since I need to run the lane, I'm not level nine, so I don't, I don't, I can't get the trinket. Even if I wanted to, let's see how lanes are going. One and two, tops lane, CS ahead, so it really doesn't matter. About 18 CS is worth one kill. Uh, she has a 20 CS lead, so which is averages out, or which uh, actually 17 CS lead actually. Jungle, uh, the enemy jungler had more presence, presence in lane and other places. Mid is even, zero zero, but Ar and Orion is ahead in CS. And bot lane, Cog is ahead in CS, but that's fine. I'm just glad I'm. I haven't died because I'd rather miss like 300 CS and die once. First of all, it ruins your KDA, and then, second of all, you miss more CS when you die. Overall, it's just not worth it. 
I'm actually going to continue to play safe right now because I don't have any damage. I decided to go boots over pickaxe, which is I think is a good buy. Condemn her so she can't do anything. Go for the Kog'Ma now. I'm going to try to flash her ult. Ah. I was such a burn flash. Oh my god, that was so bad of me. Oh my god. I played that so bad. I didn't think my auto, my third auto would kill him, so I flashed over there. What I should have just done is be more patient. What I got, what, I, what happened there is I got way too aggressive. Because we harassed them a lot and they were, didn't get any damage on us. So I went way too aggressive. I should have just played safe. Wow, that was terrible. Alright. So the only thing I could have done there was play safe and not get hit by a turret shot. Because I got exhausted there. I didn't think she had, or I knew she had, well, mentally I knew she had exhaust, but. My brain wasn't paying attention, so if I knew, if I processed that she had exhaust, I wouldn't have done that, because her exhaust cancelled one of my autos, since I usually cancel autos when kiting, and her exhaust had cancelled one of my autos, because she got me by surprise. It's okay, though. That was extremely bad play by me. I'm actually just going to get enough gold for BF and then recall, because as you can see, we do a lot of damage. The Kog'Maw does not know how to kite, he just stood in one place. Uh, I'm actually not gonna aggress. I'm not gonna wor worry too much about freezing it. Oh, I'm actually gonna react to that since I see they're over here. You always wanna react to calls like that because I can always pick up a kill. I see Cog also reacting. But I can't do anything right now. Not like this. Alright, cool. I'm actually gonna pink there. I'm gonna pink dragon on my way. Cause you, the mid laner and the jungler's dead, so it means it's free dragon. I'm gonna try to pick up Scuttle while I'm at it. Something really special going on. They found my pink, no big deal. I'll trade dragon for a pink any day. I have a feeling Leon's gonna try to ult. And there's her ult. So now I know her ult's on cooldown. So which means we should be able to win fights easily. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to push as hard as possible and then recall. And get a BF sword. Tumble out of his. Hit a little thing. Get my three proc off and E him. Let's actually just recall now. Since I can't get my BF, I'm gonna type BF. But they're they're definitely gonna push the turn, no big deal. Get my BF sword. Next item will be Infinity Edge, so full item build would be uh let's see. Oh yeah, static shiv, infinity edge, and then phantom dancer, and then QSS. Like a QSS is a so a big necessity against the enemy team comp. Barb, I need you buddy. Ah, they got turret, no big deal. I'm just gonna play safe. Oh, I should have got my blue trinket since I'm level ni level 10. As soon as you get level uh, 9, you want to usually switch off to blue trinket. I see Leona headed towards her, so I don't want to play more aggressive. You see them, so why play aggressive there? Just gonna keep pushing, cause I think they're gonna go mid and look for a fight, and which is exactly what they're doing. All right, and now let's go mid. I I'm not going to read too much about f farming right now, because I am a vein. I'm really good in team fights, So, uh, let's go get red. Screw it. Let's farm some more YOLO. Oh, you got Sated and Rageblade. Alright. Oh, a little tip. Just a little tip. Always, if you tumble near a wall, your auto gets reset faster. So, you, so you're get your, uh, getting your auto attack reset faster than if you were just to do it in front oh if that charm had landed oh no bot is pushing out uh, automatically I see a Lee Sin here he's not gonna try a play on me unless he's stupid got three procs off Oriana is caught out she's out of position but I'm still gonna play safe since I am a vein I usually wanna stay in the back of the team let my team be the wall for me if you, as you can see and then bam I have a human wall or champ champion wall. 
I might actually just get QSS uh, after right now because they have a lot of CC or especially Leona to be exact Leona's our main CC which I want to avoid so for her I would get QSS Kogma is recalling we have vision condemn him oh no I ran right into that yeah that is why QSS would be necessary oh no that was not good for us we shouldn't have fought that yeah I'm playing extremely dumb I should have just recalled uh, actually not recall I just, we should just let him recall it is a Kog'Maw and I was stunned for years and years and years I'm just gonna run out of lane Shivana is splitting top she's not gonna be able to get that because she has negative attack speed now let's go mid I'm 1 and 3 not too good because I was I literally couldn't do anything there so I'm I'm still debating if I want Phantom Dancer Uh, let's clear our jungle since Yi does not need it anymore. Oh, he still needs it, but I kind of need it more. You don't want to go too far. I'm just going to condemn him to take the damage. I'm just going to farm jungle. All lanes are pushed. You don't ever want to stay ahead when you're pushed. Drink up or eat a biscuit. Cog is there. I'm not sure I can 1v1 him. So I'm not going to risk it. Oh, yeah, they got to kill top. Nice. Let's actually go bottom now and try to 1v1 the cog. For YouTube. This is YouTube. Oh, wait. I saw Leona. Nope. Not getting anywhere near with Leona. Yep. Leona can just ruin the whole fun. I had a very small peak of Leona. Wow, that's stupid. That champion is so dumb. I think that W should not work on champion or on uh, turrets. Just gonna chase, I guess. Condemn him. Ult. C con uh, tumble. What the front door is that damage? I forgot his passive. That is some stupid damage, guys. Oh, good luck, little thing. My blue trinket. Well, that's not the best game, but I am kind of commentating a lot, so it can be useful. This is not fun. Enemy team comp is so cancer. Shivana is pushing bottom. Uh, Dragon is up in 30 seconds, so I'm going to be headed there. I almost got my infinity edge. Kogma does have a CS lead, but that was expected because it is a Kogma with Rage Blade and a Runans. Let's go towards Dragon. You gotta keep the good momentum up. No point of being ups in, in being upset. Upset or no. And now let's take. Uh, I guess Ari wants it. I really, really wanted this. You can have it. Oh, Bard needs help, I think. Oh, wait, Kog'Maw. Kog'Maw. Please help, please help. Oh. Four score. 34 years in the past. Alright, actually, let's just stay bottom now. Wow, Kog'Maw, stop, you piece of crap. Oh, that's not good. This is the part where I Making my way to my base. Nope, 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 nope. That's like a 10 time nope. Take Gromp while I'm at it so they don't take it. They're actually gonna go for dragon. I'm still not gonna risk it. Since I know they're all for dragon, I'm just gonna stay right here and push the wave. Cause there's no threat to me. Unless they magically fly here somehow. I got my infinity edge, so let us recall. I don't know where they are to be honest, I'm really scared. Some oh never mind, they're mid. Whenever that happens, you wanna get ready to alt and Q just in case. But a better idea would be to go in a safe place. Next item, I'm actually going to get... Hold on, that AP. He's kind of AP. I might actually get Hex Drinker. Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I might actually just get Hex Drinker. Oh, let's help top. Or actually force mid. Force fight. If you can force a fight, it'll go in our favor. 
Leona might be headed up here. I'm not sure. Take red while I'm at it. So as I was saying, if you stay in your turret, you can auto attack. You can reset the auto attack faster. They are mid. Lee is tops. So we should force a fight. Ugh, they're not listening. All right, we, we might as well kill them to be honest, because they're so extended. Oh, buddy. Blue trinket in there. Go for the leeson. Oh, a uh, tumble Q. Kite him around. Cond or cond yeah, condemn him into a turret. I don't know. I think we should have just forced to fight mid lane. Because we would have easily killed them. And now Arya has to ult to get away. Now let's go mid. <sighs> Not like this. No. Oh, no way. Alright, I'm coming. Well done. That did not go as planned. I am no longer coming. I am now running. Oh, we should, should we try and fight this? With the help of Barb? What the front door was that damage? I tried so hard to make a play there, to be honest. I'm actually using the Hex Drinker now, since they do have a lot of AP damage. Yeah, Command Shockwave, Ignite. I think if I had my Hexdrinker there, I try to E condemn him into turret and Bard can stun. It would that one better in my head pretty much. Yeah, it went better in my head. Alright. Now, I think we should just push mid. Push mid, tell the enemy, because I tell my team actually, you don't want to tell the enemy. You don't ever want to tell your enemy your plans. Well, yeah. I guess you don't want to tell your enemy. Or you know what we could do? You can play mind games. Tell the enemy your plan. Like say, oh whoops, wrong chat, and then do the opposite of that. And Bam, mind games. Chris Angel, mind freak. I remember that. I used to watch that. It was actually short, right? I don't know. I think. I don't know. That was a good show. Chris Angel, mind freak. I used to watch it when I was young. It fooled me. We have a sated ye. We can. We might actually be able to Baron. So let's ping on my way to Baron. Oh wait, never mind. It's a Volley. A wild Volley has appeared. Volley like a Pokemon. Volley bear, Volley bear. I don't want to play too aggressive. Take that. I'm dead. Cog is pushing bottom. I'm actually gonna position in the back again. Cause every time I die, it's just cause I'm, I just go too huh, crazy. Take scuttle. Got him. Hit him with that BM. Oh, that weak Ari. Yo, Ari. I'm kidding, fam. You good? You good? I'm in such awkward time. Actually, whenever you're in this position, you want to run to the side and align with the team. We have no vision. We shouldn't be fighting. Don't fight. You always want to fight in vision so you know where who is where. They are sieging mid. I want to clear bottom. We had too many down here. Oh, no. They're going for Baron. They're going for Baron. They're going for Baron. Oh, wait. No, my volley's headed there. What the front door? Their plans are really awkward. I'm actually going to flank them from the back since I do have that power. Oh, is this my Penta? Not Penta for YouTube? Oh, that was awkward. Why is my attack speed so little? I am so lost. Cause I could I could have got so much more autos off. I canceled more autos than I landed there. Yeah, I need Phantom Dancer. I'm building Phantom Dancer, boys. The Yi. I think I was my quarter to be honest. I think I was stolen. No, we should just Baron, 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 boys, because we can just get that that tier two later when we get when we get Baron. We have a lot of damage, which is why I called for Baron, because mid is one turret is not worth Baron. But if and if we went for Baron and if we went for turret, that would have been the only thing we would have got. Since they are all up now, they can't react to it. Their blue also is up, I think. Yeah, it is up. Which means Ari gets a blue, and if she does not want it, I get a free blue. I see the Voldy. Oh, yo, yo, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I need more attack speed, because that, in that fight, my attack speed wasn't cutting it. 
Okay, let's get out of there. Uh, okay, let's get more attack speed. The reason I flanked from the back was my team, they were keeping them distracted and they could only focus one person. And if they all changed focus to me, then I would have died. But my team would have killed them. Uh, bind Zeke's. I don't know why I have caps on to be honest. I should probably no. Nah, let's not turn it off. Oh, dragon is up. Dragon. Oh, whoops, wrong place. Take my red for a fight. Always want to take red for a fight. I have a lot of damage. The reason I got uh, this mob Malmordius is so I don't die. I don't get blown up in team fights. Let us go for dragon. They're probably doing it and they probably got it. And they should get it very very soon. Unless, yep, there it is. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. Fight it. I'm playing this back. Pick the Ori off. Q, go invisible. Go for two. Yeah, baby. Now let's go for mid. Let my team chase. Oh, did I steal the Penta? I think I stole the Penta. Ah, it's gonna, he stole my Penta. I, I went for the priority target there, which is why he won the fight. If Ori had lift, she would have got her ult off also. But I had killed her fast enough. She's now building... I knew she didn't have Zhonya's because... She cannot afford it th uh, that fast. We might be actually be able to end it. Hit him with the BM. Oh, this team. Uh, we should probably. Ah, no, we got it. Should we end it? Should we end it? No, no, no. I don't want to end it. I don't want to end it. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. You've come a long way. That was really dumb. I should have flashed, but who cares? Right, 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 right. I went from z 1 and 4 to 11 and 6. I think that's a pretty good deal. Now let's go bottom. We are in the game ending. Actually, uh, top is also gone. We are in the game ending phase. So at the game ending phase, and you know you can't get full build. You usually want to get elixir. I think Ori's pretty salty, cause I kind of crushed her, her the past two fights. Like she was so salty, she solo ulted me there. Or no, she actually got two man ult. Take it all. I'm not that important. <clears throat> all right. Now let's go. Uh, I think bot lane. Group bot. Please, Reno. Just a second, guys. All right, now you want to get this. And let's actually upgrade the boost to red, so I c it's easier to kite. And they went top for some odd reason. But you know what? I'm a man of my words. So I'm gonna stay bottom. Oh, close. Shoulda went bot. Oh, ho, ho, not like this. Oh. Not like this. Oh, you actually got away. Well played, fam. Well played. Yes, Sunfire. And You've come along. Take take all with static or three to be exact. Oh my god, is this it? The Shivana back door? Oh no, no JK lost, she's bad. Just kidding, guys, she's not bad. Don't. I don't want to get Vayne and that, that person ulted. I'm going to go for the higher priority target, so I'm going to condemn, flash in. And then kite the Leona back. You don't ever want to dive the team and go for the priority target and die. Oh, you know, you know what would have been a good item here? Sterax. Yeah, Sterax would have been a pretty good item. No, I think I'm going to take over there. I'm going to flash in. I'm kind of going way too aggressive. I need to chill with the pills. Just kidding, I want to take pills. The Yi is able to 1v1 the Voldy. A tanky to be exact. 
<laughs> tanky, tanky. Let's go mid now. It's time to end it. No more games. No more messing around. Alright, now let's go mid. I'm gonna wait until... Fury build up, lol, lies. You just want to see us. <laughs> My CS isn't the best, because I kind of got zoned out. Or it's lazy. Alright, actually not lazy. I don't know what I was doing. Alright, now let's get this and tie him up, and now let's run mid. I don't have any of my summoners, I have this in 30 seconds, I should play safe, but YOLO. Let's get my red, and then go mid. Balin is pushing against us, no big deal, we sh just need to win one fight. It's a 4v5 currently, no big deal, we win it. I think I'm gonna Bloodthirst next, or a QSS, I don't know, QSS would work also. That Leona, man. Alright, I died too many times to be honest. Like, only 3 deaths are fine. Actually, not even three. Only negative two deaths are fine. Okay, I'm play safe. She did, still does not have hourglass. Yo, Shiv, fam, we need you. I'm actually gonna play safe now. Let's actually play smart for once. Oh, the boy's going crazy. Uh oh, I don't want to get Leona ulted. If I get Leona ulted, I'm dead. I guess all she wrote. Oh, get him, boys. Did the U ult there? No, did you not ult there? I'm actually gonna play safe now. I have a human wall. Shiv in the front, already in the back. Hopefully, she goes in the back. Prioritize killing uh, Cog. If little Coggy dies, we win the game. It's actually rush dragon. Take dragon. D. Oh my god, I'm so glad my flash isn't up. Yo, buddy. No, rush dragon, rush dragon. Oh, Shivana, please. No, Shivana, please. Our damage output should easily be able to secure a dragon. Condemn him. And bam. Condemn so he can't run. Oh, hello there, little cog. Oh, what the front door? I see my targets. Go for the cog. Now go for the Ori. And now go for the Leo. And now go for their base. Free little boys. I made a little too many mistakes this game. But hey, at the end of the day, we still won. I had my priority targets. Hit him with the taunt. Oh, the ye. No, no, no. It ain't over yet till the next is down, son. Take the Nexus low. He might try to in insect me. Come here, son. I dare you. I'm gonna get the last one on the on the on the. GG WP. Taunt one more time. And bam. <laughs> Right, that was a really fun game. It was a vane against Kogma. Very hard lane. Extremely, extremely hard. But other than that, it was a really fun game. I made a lot of mistakes there if I hadn't gotten caught out so much. And later on, I think uh, I had a huge role in the team fights because I just went from the back and got their carries. You don't usually want to do that because people can usually change targets fast. But the enemy was not that good or good enough to change the targets fast enough for to kill me. And for that reason, I got a triple kill. I went from 1 to 4 to like... 14 and 7, I think. I don't, I don't even know. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, sub, share, and comment, and tell me which video to make next, and I will see you later.